If Jesus walked the earth today, would he be a social justice warrior? Indeed. And, why and he'd he... be crucified too. Really? Yeah. And I think if Jesus walked the earth today, he would be fighting for the least of us because that's what he did and that was his consistent message through the Beatitudes and through Matthew 25. Do you agree with uh, abortion? Do I agree with it? Yeah. I don't want to incarcerate women who do it. But you're not answering my question. Do you personally, are you personally okay with women having abortions? See, that's, it's a, it's a weird question because I don't think I have the right or anyone with a penis has a right to tell a woman what to do. The Bible is not anti-abortion and if you look at the book of Numbers, God gives Moses very specific and gruesome abortion tips for wives who are pregnant by other men. Do you personally disagree with abortion? Um, I personally disagree with incarcerating women for doing it. One last time. Do you personally disagree with abortion? I am not morally qualified to condemn someone who has to make that choice, and I don't think men have the right. You mentioned men and penis. So if you they go make, together. If you make a baby, and this woman you make this baby with decided, for whatever reason, I'm not going to have this baby, I'm going to kill it. You don't have any to say so about that? I think a man does have say so, and a man has a right to sue that woman, and uh, a man has a right to sue for redress of grievances, yeah. So a man with a penis should say something about it, have an opinion of abortion, right? Ultimately, it rests with the woman, but a man has a right to try to make her carry the baby to term. I don't think he should, but he has the right. Uh, women who are killing children within their womb, they're lost mentally and emotionally. That's an opinion. They would appreciate a wise man telling them and waking them up and informing yeah, them. Yeah, they'd appreciate a job to, and a living wage and a man as, who doesn't run away. They'd appreciate what, a husband who stands by their side. As to what they're doing is being wrong, that they're wrong for what they're doing, that's another way. And so men should be involved in it because these women are clearly lost. I respect any woman's choice because I don't get to judge it and I don't believe the Bible can be used against abortion. If you believe in the great flood, God drowned every pregnant woman and her fetus on the same day. Define judgment for me. You, you use that word a lot when you say we don't have a right to judge. To condemn others. Define judge. To condemn others. And in, so, the, case of, in so, the case of abortion, here's my deal. Uh, it's always been around. It'll always be around. And we don't have an abortion problem in this country. We have an unwanted pregnancy problem and an abortion symptom. It wouldn't be around if men were men. I agree with you on that completely. But both political parties make a lot of money off abortion and make a lot of votes off abortion. Both political parties. Right. So it's not going to change. They're going to keep us fighting our entire but life. And our grandkids will be fighting over this they're too. They're not to blame for individuals having abortion because no, you're responsible but, for your own but action it's not going to solve. as an adult. Right, but what I'm saying is our grandkids will be fighting over this too. It's never going away. It's a racket but both parties use to raise money and votes. It will go away once men return to their natural state of being. I being. would love to see abortions end because yeah. every child brought into this world is wanted and loved. That is my dream, and I'm sure we share that dream. Uh, again, I think we have an unwanted pregnancy problem, and I would love to see all the conservatives and progressives get together and say, what can we do as a culture about to reduce women, unwanted pregnancies? Because you ban abortion, you're going to see problem. a million new Dr. Kermit Gosnell butcher clinics open up. No, what a terrible man. But, what, but there's going to be more of that if you overturn Roe v. Wade. But it's easier than that. All we have to do is get those women who believe in abortions and who hate men to return to God. If they develop, hated men, they wouldn't be needing abortion. Develop a, a sense of character. If they hated then, men, they wouldn't be pregnant. Once they become more women, they wouldn't have to have abortion. Yeah, I know lots of women who've terminated pregnancies and they're very moral.